Leading a low glycemic impact lifestyle doesn't have to be complicated. This video is going to help you understand how the glycemic impact of a food affects your metabolism and helps you burn fat. Most people are skipping meals, eating sugary processed foods, and are cutting their calories. Unfortunately, when this happens, their blood sugar levels are like a roller coaster, as shown in the red zone. In this zone, they are in fat storage mode and have no energy. The vicious cycle makes it impossible to lose weight and fat because the person just craves those unhealthy foods to gain more energy and get through their day. When you eat healthy, nutritious foods, you eliminate those highs and lows, have more energy, feel great, and are burning fat. The green zone is your fat burning zone because your blood sugars are kept at a constant level. This green zone is ideal for weight loss and fat loss. TLS Weight Loss Solution is a dynamic program that allows you to eat flavorful, low glycemic impact foods while supplying your body with energy and nutrition. Low glycemic foods produce little or no fluctuations in your blood sugar levels. This means that the foods that you eat like lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, beans, and legumes, and high quality fats do not cause your blood sugar levels to rise quickly, which can lead to fat storage mode or that dreaded red zone. Stable blood sugar levels will help you keep your body balanced and help you improve energy, sleep, and how you react to stress. Most importantly, stable blood sugar helps keep you out of that fat storage mode. Low glycemic impact eating has been shown to be superior for weight loss and weight management, cardiovascular health, and more. While most programs focus on just low glycemic eating, including only the quality of food, TLS Weight Loss Solution focuses on low glycemic impact eating, which is the quality plus the quantity of foods. Understanding the difference is the key factor in why TLS Weight Loss Solution is a superior program. The glycemic index is simply a numeric ranking system of what foods containing carbohydrates do to your blood sugar levels. Almost every food contains carbohydrates. Foods that are ranked 55 or less are considered low. Foods that are ranked between 56 and 69 are medium, and foods that will spike your sugar levels and cause your body to store fat quicker are ranked 70 or higher. It may seem to make sense to eat just from the low list. However, you would be surprised to know that based on the ranking system, M&Ms are low glycemic and carrots are high glycemic. Plus, you would have to live your life with a list in your hand of all the foods and their ranking values. So essentially, programs that dictate just low glycemic really aren't telling you the entire story. That ranking system is based on the consumption of 50 grams of carbohydrates. Carrots are obviously healthier than candy, but as an example, 50 grams breaks down to the equivalent of 20 cups of cauliflower, 3 cups of carrots, and about 1 ounce of M&Ms. Do you eat 20 cups of cauliflower or three cups of carrots in one sitting? Probably not, but if you were to eat M&Ms, you would probably eat a lot more than one ounce. TLS Weight Loss Solution focuses on low glycemic impact and not just the glycemic index, because looking solely at the glycemic index when choosing your diet could result in over-consuming fats and total calories, and even an insufficient amount of nutrients. TLS realizes that both the quality and quantity matter. Most people do not eat three cups of carrots in one sitting, even though the carrots are considered high on that ranking system. Eating a smaller serving than three cups will not cause your sugar to spike and cause fat storage. On the contrary, if you indulge in those supposedly low glycemic M&Ms, your chances of storing fat are much higher than if you eat carrots. There are some factors that affect the glycemic index of a food making them higher or lower than what the ranking system states. One example is the ripening process. As a fruit or vegetable becomes ripe, its sugar content rises. An example of this is that the greener a banana is, the lower the glycemic and better it is for you. As the banana ripens, it becomes higher in sugar. Processing a food generally makes its glycemic index higher too. A mashed sweet potato has a higher glycemic index than if you bake it. And a glass of orange juice has a higher glycemic index than a whole orange. The reason for this is processing makes a food quicker and easier to digest. Cooking a food generally makes its glycemic index higher also. 100% whole grain pasta cooked for 10 minutes has a lower glycemic index than if it were cooked for 20 minutes. To help you understand the impact sugar has on your body, it's important to realize that your body needs sugar. In fact, every one of your cells needs sugar to survive. The issue is that most people consume too much unhealthy sugar. Your body regulates blood sugar levels so that they are not too high or too low. 
But what happens when you consume more than your body needs? Well, let's start by discussing what happens when you eat. Carbohydrates from the food you eat break down into sugar. This is a normal process and is important because the blood sugar is fuel for your body. Once your body recognizes that you've eaten and there's sugar available, your pancreas releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin is like a taxi that brings the sugar into your cells. Once the sugar is dropped off, your blood sugar levels go back to a normal range and insulin levels stabilize because their job is done. If extra sugar is left over, your body will allow it to be stored in your liver and muscles in case you need a rush of energy later. However, if you eat excess amounts of processed, high glycemic and sugary foods, your liver, muscles and cells can only store so much sugar and the rest goes to your fat cells. Undoubtedly, people who overeat or have excess fat generally require more food to feel full than people of normal weight or normal body fat percentages. But hormones play a part in this as well. Leptin is a hormone that controls how satisfied or full you are when eating, while ghrelin is a hormone telling you that you're hungry. When you're overeating, it's because your leptin hormone cannot recognize that you're full until it's too late. This is called being leptin resistant. Eventually, you will get to the point where you feel full and your ghrelin hormones stop telling you that you're hungry while your leptin hormone tells you that you're satisfied. However, the excess food leads to increased blood sugar levels, increased insulin being released, and ultimately, weight gain. Essentially, your pancreas is working overtime releasing insulin to bring your blood sugar levels to a normal level. Eventually, the extra sugar that is sneaking into the cells actually kills the cells to avoid insulin entering. It is essentially a self-defense mechanism. When this happens, insulin resistance occurs. If the problem persists, blood sugar levels continue to rise. Insulin resistance gets worse, leptin resistance gets worse, and other issues can occur like increased triglycerides, cholesterol and blood pressure, and eventually type 2 diabetes. On the whole, your body performs better when your blood sugar is kept as constant as possible. Eating low glycemic impact and incorporating foods like fresh fruits and vegetables, beans, nuts, and whole grains not only helps you reach your weight loss goals, but your health goals also. With low glycemic impact eating, the right amounts of foods for physical activity level is consumed. Your blood sugar always has a place in your cells. Insulin and leptin levels rise and fall in a controlled manner, so overeating doesn't happen. This means you're full when you should be full. You don't have excess sugar or insulin, and you're healthy and fit. You could read more information on this in your TLS Weight Loss Solution Health Guide and Journal.